It's Mount Tam, a triple cream soft ripened cheese made by Cowgirl Creamery out of California. Mount Tam is named after Mount Tamil Pius of Marin County. This is a very popular and highly regarded cheese, at least in the western United States. And it's made with high quality organic milk from Strauss Family Creamery. And it has to be to be USDA certified organic. Which it is. But let us save the organics discussion for another day and have a look-see. On the outside here you have the characteristic white mold of brie. That is Penicillium camemberti. It is the culture that is ripening and developing the flavor of this cheese, and is what gives brie its distinctive aroma. This particular wheel has slight whiffs of ammonia as well. Ammonia is a byproduct of the mold's processes. This is a bad sign if in excessive amounts, but this Mount Tam is two days before its specify date and is at peak ripeness if you ask me. Cutting into it here, you can see how thick and luxurious triple cream cheeses are. Triple cream means it contains at least 75% butterfat, about three times that of normal cream. Thus, they are very rich cheeses. Look closely here and notice the texture of the Mount Tam. From the rind towards the center, it gets gooier. That's because the mold is slowly breaking down the chemical bonds of the cheese softening its texture and increasing its flavor. And that is the ripening process that you hear so much about with these soft ripened cheeses. And you may find that you prefer your cheese at a certain point of this ripening process. Just know the closer to the best by date, the softer and more flavorful the cheese will become. You may even like it better past that date, However, the further it goes, the more of the off and ammoniated flavors that you will get, and it will eventually spoil before too long. When eating soft ripened cheeses like Mount Tam, you will likely be using a carrier such as bread or a cracker. And you'll be smearing it on just like this. I'm sticking it on a Raincoast Crisp, as they're some of the best in town. For our taste analysis, I am just going to take a bite of this cheese straight up. Be aware that soft ripened cheeses are very young, like weeks to a month or two old tops. That means you won't get those super deep and highly complex flavors that you find in other longer aged cheeses. The flavors just simply don't have the same amount of time to develop. So how is Cowgirl Creamery's Mount Tam? Well, it is very lush in the mouth. The word I think I would use to describe it is voluptuous. It has a lovely, sweet, salty cream flavor. The high quality of the milk is very apparent in the flavor of this cheese. There's definitely hints of California pasture hiding in there. Towards the rind, I do get a lot more earthy and mushroomy tones. My rind is also slightly ammoniated as I let my Wheel of Mount Tam get very ripe. It was also a bit dried out, unfortunately, which will happen under standard refrigeration. Before we rate Mount Tam, let's take a second to discuss rinds. Yes, white bloomy rinds are fully edible. They do have their own distinct flavor and texture, which you may or may not find pleasing. And they differ in a variety of manner, too. One should also consider rind health. My Mount Tam here, for instance, was dry and ammoniated. Not the best health. This was not the cheese's fault, but rather the length and conditions in which it was stored. So, in some cases, one may not enjoy the rind of a soft, ripened cheese. You're not somehow less of a cheese connoisseur by eating around it. All that being said, the rind of this Mount Tam wasn't bad at all and I ate it right up. Cowgirl Creamery has a wonderful triple cream here with their Mount Tam. I'm going to give it a solid 8.4 out of 10. I really like it with jams and bubbly wines. My ideal scenario for this cheese would be brunch with Mount Tam, mimosas, and marmalade. 
probably some of that Californian orange for that Californian zest. So yeah, this has been fancy cheese and stuff. That's what I think about Mount Tam. You can sub if you want for weekly cheese reviews and stuff. I mean, you know how it works, right? Be well and be fancy.